Oh, it's cold out here, which is good. But man, it's cold when the wind whips up. We've got, oh, I don't know, maybe 55 degrees with the wind chill factor. It takes it down more. Or the electron chill factor, maybe I should call it. And lots of rain hit my skin, which makes it even colder. That's great. Let's see if we can get a picture here of me a little bit. Ah. Trying to get his skin exposed to the, the sun. Yes, there is sun somewhere up there in the clouds right in front of me. Trust me, it's there. Thinking about like spectrum, uh, right? Like when the sun comes up, if the clouds were to block UV light, um, why would it be blocking it if we can see the visible light? So there's definitely some component getting through here. No doubt about that at all. Plus the meters help to let us know that too, but I don't happen to have a UV meter on me. Ah, now I'm getting used to the cold here. It's getting better. It's probably, I don't know, very equivalent to a cold shower with the water dripping on you if the water's cold enough. But this is actually one step colder, I think. Might need to get a thermometer to measure my skin temp after being out here for maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, seeing what my temperature's at. So it's supposed to flood here today. There's flood advisories everywhere. I live on a hill. Don't know if you can see it, but I get all the runoff from the water all the way down, so I really am not in any type of flooding situation here, at least. Uh, one other thing I'm going to mention, which is kind of cool, is that... Uh, well, not, <laughs> not cool for the person that experienced it, but... Uh, I, I heard on the radio last night, which is something kind of cool, I correlated possibly here, that there was an owl attack. Um, and the announcer on the radio said there's been multiple owl attacks in the last few weeks. So I'm wondering what's provoking the owl attacks. So I go online and I read some articles and I'm kind of making a correlation that the owls are attacking the heads of humans in downtown Seattle. Now, why the heads? So then I got thinking more about it, and of course they don't have a lot of details in these articles about what the guys and the people are doing. Oh, I'm shivering, this is perfect. Um, but for the owls, I'm thinking, what if they're actually somehow being disrupted by cell phones? You know, we have downtown Seattle is probably gonna be a hub of uh, RF. And then if you have people actively on their cell phones transmitting to and from a cell tower maybe the owls are getting angry <laughs> or not, maybe not getting angry but sensing something about the the RF to and from them obviously owls have amazing eyesight and we know from previous studies that owls can potentially see or have some sort of weird compass of electromagnetism in their central vision so if they've got that going on and they see some anomaly that is just crazy to them maybe they're being provoked to attack it so anyway it's something that you know these little types of thoughts enter my head now trying to make connections and that's what it's about making connections and seeing if the connections stick stick over time so just want to share that bit of info as well I guess I'll end the camera transmission here for now and keep my cold thermogenesis going along with the morning light. Alright, see you later. Bye.